Testing, Are we testing, ready to go, Angela? Okay. Testing, testing. Okay. Good morning and welcome to the Lancaster County Board of Commissioners for Tuesday, September 16th. Uh, Jane Robot Raybolt will not be with us uh, today. Her uh, father that many of us know, uh, Russ Raybolt, passed away Saturday. And so Jane and her family have our condolences. Would you please uh, join me in a salute to our flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And we'd like to bring everybody's attention to our Lancaster County flag, which is part of the you're, you're backwards. backwards. Okay, we'll go this way. <laughs> Hope the television people can pick it up. Sure. That, uh, this is something we have the City flag, the county flag, and the American flag uh, this way. The state flag. State flag. Oh, <laughs> that will there. probably be next. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, joining me this morning is Vice Chair Brent Smoyer, uh, Commissioner Deb Shore, Commissioner Roma Amundsen, and uh, we will also be assisted by Deputy County Attorney Brittany Behrens. Angela Zocco will be our recording secretary. And calling the meeting for us this morning will be Deputy County Clerk. <coughs> Excuse me, <laughs> Deputy County uh, Clerk uh, Corey Beatty. So, uh, with that, will you begin the agenda for us, please, Corey? Sure. Before we start, I'd like to announce that a copy of the Nebraska Open Meetings Act is located on the wall at the rear of the hearing room. Additionally, a copy of all written material to be discussed at today's open meeting is available from the county clerk's staff. The materials can also be viewed on the county's website at lancaster.ne.gov. First item on the agenda is approval of the minutes of the Board of Commissioners meeting held on Tuesday, September 9th, 2014. Move approval. Second. Are there additions or corrections? Seeing none, call the roll, please. Sure. Yes. Amundsen. Yes. Smoyer. Yes. Hudkins. Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Item two is approval of all claims processed through Tuesday, September 16th, 2014. Move approval. All claims. Second. Discussion? Call the roll. Amundsen. Yes. Smoyer. Yes. Shore. Yes. Hudkins. Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Under new business, item 3A is a resolution for the issuance of tax sale certificates on delinquent parcels which were not sold for want of bids. Move approval. Second. Discussion. Call the roll. Amundsen. Yes. Smoyer. Yes. Shore. Yes. Hudkins. Yes. Motion carries 4 to 0. Item 3B, resolution in the matter of vacation of the 30-foot wide portion of South 10th Street, lying contiguous and adjacent to the west line of Block 18, Princeton, Lancaster County, Nebraska. Move approval. Second. Discussion. Okay. We had the uh, hearing on it last week, and we had the engineer's recommendation. No further discussion. Call the roll, please. Smoyer. Yes. Shore. Yes. Amundsen. Yes. Hudkins. Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Item C is an amendment to county contract C-13-0481 with Midwest Service and Sales Company for the annual supply of greater blades. The amendment renews the agreement for an additional one year term from September 1st, 2014 to August 31st, 2015. Move approval. Second. Discussion. Call the roll. Shore. Yes. Amundsen. Yes. Smoyer. Yes. Hudkins. Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Item D is an agreement between Kodak Alaris and Lancaster County on behalf of records and information management for equipment maintenance. The county will pay $9,657 for the services. The agreement is effective upon execution until September 30th, 2015. Move approval. Second. Discussion. Call the roll. Yes. Smoyer. Yes. Shore. Yes. Hudkins. Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Item E is an agreement with Southeast Community College to conduct five-week sessions of on-site food handling and food preparation instruction for Lancaster County Corrections inmates. The county will pay up to $9,697.50. Term of the agreement is September 23, 2014 to July 30, 2015. Move approval. Second. Call the roll, please. Amundsen. Yes. Smoyer. Yes. Shore. Yes. And Hudkins. Yes. Motion carries four to zero. 
F is an agreement with Maximus Inc. for professional consulting services to provide cost allocation plans and collections from programs which the county operates with outside funding for fiscal years 2014, 15, and 16. The county will pay $8,500 per year for the services. Move approval. Second. Discussion? Call the roll. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. G is a grant contract with the League of Human Dignity, Inc. to provide funding in the amount of $50,000 for the Center for Independent Living Program and the Barrier Removal Program. Term of the contract is July 1st, 2014 to June 30th, 2015. Move approval. Second. Discussion? Call the roll. Shore? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. H is a grant contract with Friendship Home, Inc. to provide funding in the amount of $28,888 for the Children in Shelter Project. Friendship Home will provide $17,974 in match funds. Term of the contract is July 1st, 2014 to June 30th, 2015. Move approval. Approval. Second. Discussion? Call the roll. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Item I is a grant contract with Friendship Home Inc. to provide funding in the amount of $12,427 for an African American children's advocate for the Children in Shelter program. Term of the contract is July 1st, 2014 to June 30th, 2015. Move approval. Second. Discussion? Call the roll. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Item J is a grant contract with the Family Service Association of Lincoln to provide funding in the amount of $30,000 for the behavioral health program. Term of the contract is July 1st, 2014 to June 30th, 2015. Move approval. Second. Discussion? Call the roll. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Item K is a grant contract with the Family Service Association to provide funding in the amount of $17,330 for the Behavioral Health Service expansion in Lancaster County. Term of the contract is July 1st, 2014 to June 30th, 2015. Move approval. Second. Uh, discussion. Uh, I would like to, uh, on behalf of the board, thank Commissioner Shore for all the work that uh, she and Commissioner Raybolt do on the JBC to review these contracts, and there's never enough money to serve all these worthy causes, but you prioritize and allocate, and it takes a lot of time, a lot of diligence, and a lot of thought, but we thank you for thank your you. service. Thank you. Call the roll, please. Shore? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? <coughs> yes. And Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Item L is Federal Grant Award 13-JA-604 from the Nebraska Commission on Law Enforcement and Criminal Justice in the amount of $27,521 for the Lancaster County Juvenile Accountability Block Grant. The federal share is $19,254 with the county matching $8,267. Move approval. Second. Discussion? Call the roll, please. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. M is Federal Grant Award 2014-DC-BX-0081 from the Department of Justice, Office of Justice Programs, Bureau of Justice Assistance in the amount of $210,183 for Lancaster County Adult Drug Court Program Enhancements. Kim, would you like to come up and make a couple of comments about these programs? Substantial dollar amount. Yes, yeah, really. Kim Etherton, Director, Department of Community Corrections. This is a half of or a portion of um, the braided grant that I applied for back in May. So this is this um, portion of the grant is going to cover um, some implementing some enhancements for drug court that um, reinforce some of the support systems that keep people strong and healthy and sober. Um, specifically, this is a parent, this is parenting, a parenting piece. Um, we'll be bringing some folks in to train um, 
people throughout the community in this curriculum so that we can um, provide a foundation for sustainability. Um, I'll be working with a, a group of folks um, in the community to make that happen so that once the grant is over, then that structure is in place to continue providing um, the training. So the second half of the grant is a SAMHSA, the SAMHSA dollars. Um, we have not been notified on that yet. Mm -hmm. However, it seems if they're giving me one half of the funding, they're probably going to be giving us the second half. And that piece will focus on then some other kinds of um, programming enhancements, specifically some relationship uh, training for folks who have had struggles in that area, as well as um, working to make our system a little more trauma-informed in dealing with the clients that we serve. So, Commissioner Amundsen? Yeah. <clears throat> One of the things, Kim, Kim, that I've noticed about um, your work there is, is that um, you are just such a hard-working person. You always come up with these grants, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and that's so good. And what I really like is that you always seem to be one step ahead because you're planning ahead for the future, you know, in terms of having that foundation in place so that when the grant runs out, it, it will continue. And, I mean, that, that structure will continue, so that is really essential, and plus the relationship building that you've been uh, focused on. So thank you so much for your work. Well, thank you. I appreciate your support. Uh, Kim, uh, just echo those thoughts too. Uh, <clears throat> a lot of people in Lancaster County are taxpayers and they say, you know, hold the taxes down, hold the taxes down. But you've done an excellent job of getting the grants and what little money we have invested in it has been in just that, an investment. If we can get these people straightened around and make them productive citizens and they won't be needing uh, county services for the, for the rest of their life and be responsible citizens. and your department, you came to us with a few ideas, and as uh, Roma says, it just keeps growing, but uh, we as a board feel it's an investment, not a cost. Appreciate that. Thank you. Appreciate your good work. Thank you. Any further comments? If not, call the roll, please, Corey. I don't have a motion. Okay, then we'll oh, get approved. one. Second. <laughs> I <moved and> seconded. <laughs> now I do. Now any further discussion? Thank you. Okay. Call the roll, please. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries 4 to 0. Item N is authorization for release of escrow funds to Harry Molbach in connection with special permit number 9019 found at county resolution number R-09-0067. Move approval. Second. Discussion? Call the roll. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries 4 to 0. Item O will be held for one week, awaiting documentation on that one. So we will move on to public comments. Those wishing to speak on items relating to county business not on the agenda may do so at this time. Mr. Chair, I just wanted to, um, for the record, clarify one thing for any of our viewers that might have been here last week for the public comment regarding the vacation. We approve the resolution, but the resolution is to deny. So I just wanted oh, yeah, yeah. that to be clear. Uh, we've moved through the agenda so quickly. I went right by me and just wanted to make sure that everyone understood that we are denying that vacation. Yeah. And thank you for, uh, for bringing that and clarifying that situation. And we did have people here to testify on why that road needed to stay open and it was used. And I think the news to most of us was it was a school bus around. So mm -hmm. it uh, definitely is serving a purpose yet. Anyone else to make public comment? If not, will you proceed with announcements, please? Sure. Under item 5A, the Lancaster County Board of Commissioners will hold a staff meeting on Thursday, September 18th, 2014 at 8.30 a.m. in the Bill Luxford studio of the County City Building. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners will hold their next regular meeting on Tuesday, September 23rd, 2014 at 10.30 a.m. in room 112 of the County City Building with the Board of Equalization meeting immediately following. The County Commissioners can be reached at 402-441-7447 or commish at lancaster.ne.gov. The Lancaster County Board of Commissioners meeting is broadcast live. It is rebroadcast on Tuesday and Saturday on 5 City TV, cable channel 5. In addition, the meeting may be viewed on the internet at lancaster.ne.gov under 5 City TV video on demand or 5 City TV on YouTube. Will we adjourn? Second. Call the roll, please. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries 4 to 0. 
We'll adjourn the regular county board meeting and open the Lancaster County Board of Equalization meeting for Tuesday, September 16th. A copy of the Nebraska Open Meetings Act is located on the wall at the rear of the hearing room. Additionally, a copy of all written material to be discussed at today's open meeting is available from the county clerk's staff. These materials can also be viewed on the county's website at lancaster.ne.gov. Also joining us today for the meeting is Scott Gaines with the county assessor's <laughs> office. Hi there, Scott. Mm -hmm. First item on the agenda is approval of the minutes of the Board of Equalization meeting held on Tuesday, September 9th, 2014. Move approval. approval. Second. Are there additions or corrections? If not, call the roll, please. Shore? Yes. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Item two are additions and deductions to the tax assessment rules. Of approval of the additions and deductions. Second. Discussion? Call the roll. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Item three are motor vehicle tax exemption applications for the following. Bryan Medical Center, Catholic Bishop of Lincoln, Lighthouse, and Lincoln Lutheran School Association. Move approval of the exemption applications. Second. Discussion? Call the roll. Amundsen? Yes. Smoyer? Yes. Shore? Yes. Hudkins? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Next is public comment. Those wishing to speak on items relating to county business not on this agenda may do so at this time. Anyone wishes to make comment? Not proceed on. All right, move we adjourn. Second. Second. Call the roll. Smoyer. Yes. Shore. Yes. Amundsen. Yes. Hudkins. Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Thank you for your time and attention. We stand adjourned. Hey, Scott, tell us about the uh, Voice yeah. instruction. Voice instruction. Now these were from.